Now here is a very good example of a volume profile to the right compared to the chart on the left. Again, a volume profile just shows us volume by price, not volume by time. So we can see all the prices highlighted here, 53.85, all the way down to 53.15, which is just the exact range of this chart right here. Yeah. This is a volume distribution or a volume histogram of volume at specific prices from this chart at this exact moment right here. So between 53.75, 53.70, if I just turn on the pen right here, from 53.75 to 53.70, there's an area of higher volume in this range. We also have some higher volume here around 53.56. You identify it by, of course, the increase. Increased volume, volume right distribution. So this is a volume distribution. When the bulges are higher, yep. the volume's higher. Yep. When the bulges are lower, the volume's lower. And why this is significant is because where I just highlighted these two areas of higher volume, yep. in between this is an area of lower volume compared to the rest of the profile previously, previously in the day so far. Right. We could say that there's an area of low volume here, low volume here, but it's not as significant because this is in between the bulge of two higher volume areas. Another reason why this is significant, and again, this is kind of where context is important, is because prior to this, the market had rejected the level of supply and sold off. We know it's safe to say sellers are factored in at this area. When the market sells off then, now intraday, this is the 930 US open, to about 1020 US open. This is about 50 minutes in time. We can see the market selling off right here. 